Welcome to Proven Improbable, where we focus on metals, mining, and more. I'm your host, Maurice Jackson. Today, we will highlight a junior mining exploration company that has been quietly unlocking mineral value in Argentina. I'm speaking of Abra Plata Resource Corp, trading on the TSXV symbol ABRA and on the OTCQB symbol ABBRF. Joining us for a conversation is Willem Fuchter. He is the president and CEO of Abra Plata Resource Corp. Mr. Fuchter, Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you, Maurice. Thank you for having me. It's great to be back again. Sir, on behalf of all the shareholders of Abra Plata, we are proud to be the first to say congratulations on today's press release entitled, Abra Plata announces Diablijo's PA results with 30.2% IRR. Let's delve right into the PA, but before we begin, let's share with our listeners the spot prices that were used to conduct the PA so that we have a full context of these results, sir. Um, we... Our metal price assumptions are based on $20 silver per ounce and $1,300 uh, ounce of gold. All right, Mr. Fuchter, please share with us today's results. Well, uh, first of all, I would uh, thank you for uh, the words you said uh, uh, on our press release. Um, we certainly are very pleased with it. In fact, it uh, not only met our uh, expectations, uh, but it, in, in fact uh, exceeded those expectations. So we, we are very, very pleased, and, and it's a pleasure to be able to share them uh, uh, with uh, our audience. Our after-tax NPV, as you mentioned, uh, comes to some $200 million. That's at a discount rate of 7.5%. Um, as you mentioned, the uh, after-tax IRR is some 30%, which is uh, quite spectacular. Um, our average annual production, which is indicated by the PEA, indicates that uh, we'll be producing nearly 10 million ounces of silver equivalent uh, uh, per year for a mine life of eight years. And that is uh, uh, very, very interesting. Um, I think another really important uh, aspect of the PEA, which uh, certainly tells us, is the fact that the oil and sustaining costs per ounce produced um, is expected to be $7.50 uh, per uh, um, ounce of uh, silver equivalent, or want to uh, translate that into uh, uh, gold equivalent, some $514 uh, an ounce gold equivalent. Just to summarize here for our listeners that may be new to the to the Abra Plata story here, we're talking about an open pit silver gold mine, is that correct, sir? That's, uh, that's correct. Uh, and that uh, open pit gold mine is, is based on a resource of some 140 million ounces of silver, and uh, or if you want to translate it to that silver equivalent, or to translate that into gold equivalent, uh, 1.8 million ounces. So it's quite a large uh, uh, deposit. All right. Now, what is the price sensitivity to silver? Well, as we as we just heard, uh, the NPV at $20 an ounce silver equivalent uh, amounts to uh, uh, some 200 uh, a million US dollars, and uh, um, it is sensitive to the to the silver price. And um, there's an increase or decrease of about $15 million in NPV with every $2 uh, change in the gold price, either up or down. Mr. Fuchter, please give us a project description and a mineral resource estimate. Um, the project lies in the province of Selka um, in northwestern Argentina. It's got good infrastructure there, some roads and uh, a gas pipeline, uh, which is going to... Uh, uh, be able to let us uh, uh, generate power on the property. There's uh, good groundwater resources there, which will support mining on the property. Resources there are mainly coming from the Oculta deposit and some 26 million tons mineralized material at an average grade of 93 grams per ton silver, 0.85 grams per ton gold, amounts to some 18 million ounces of uh, uh, silver contained or, and in addition, some 730 uh, ounces of, uh, thousand ounces of gold. Now, can you also provide us with a production summary? As I, I think I mentioned uh, a little earlier in the, in the, in the program, we, uh, um, uh, we anticipate that uh, uh, we'll be able to produce uh, almost 10 million ounces of silver equivalent um, per, uh, uh, per year over a mine life of eight years. And also, will we have a processing plant here? Yes, uh, um, the, uh, the processing plant uh, comprises 
crushing, grinding, agitated by leech, followed by facilitation of the, uh, of the uh, uh, precious metals through the metal crow process. And that gives us a recovery of some 80% for silver and 86% for gold. Switching gears, Abra Plata has answered a very big unanswered question with a resounding yes. And these are the deep value propositions that we love to share with our subscribers. Now, Mr. Fuchter, Abra Plata is trading at a very low valuation at the moment relative to the PA, MPV, and the indicated resorts of 139 million silver equivalent ounces and 1.8 million gold equivalent ounces. What are your thoughts on that right now, sir? Well, the low valuation to be attributed uh, uh, to a relatively new, being a relatively new company, lackluster silver performance lately, and our need for capital to develop the uh, uh, delicious uh, property. Um, that, of course, represents a, a tremendous opportunity for our investors because we think the market will soon take notice of the Ablesius and its potential, particularly after the, the uh, press release of, uh, um, of the PEA results. Um, Abra Plata also has a tremendous leverage to the silver prices, as you can see. So a long overdue rise in the silver price should also translate into a much higher valuation given the scarcity of large silver development projects in our jurisdiction. And as you know, silver is a, certainly a jurisdiction uh, that uh, um, welcomes mining. Now, based on the PA, and please correct me if I'm wrong, but it looks like Abra Plata has the makings of a mid-tier producer. Can you expand on that, sir? We, we talked about uh, its production profile of some 10 million uh, ounces of silver equivalent uh, per year. And if we put the, bring, bring that into production, it would make us a mid-tier producer. It also makes us attractive existing, uh, to existing mid-tier producers because the Iblesias would increase their total production by some 50 to 100 percent and reduce their all-in sustaining costs. Mr. Fuchter, how do we plan to obtain the aforementioned capital of 293 million to become a mid-tier producer? Our goal is to deliver a fully permitted construction-ready project by the end of next year. Um, as you know, we've just completed the PEA on, on Diabetes, and, and we were particularly pleased with the results. Our next steps are the uh, pre-feasibility study, or PFS, and given the size of the project, we want to bring in a strategic partner to provide the capital and, and development expertise. Now, let's share with our listeners the fortuitous timing of Aberplatus' acquisition of the Diabetes. How did this come to fruition? We acquired the Dabijas on very good terms from uh, SSR Mining in 2016 when they made a strategic decision to exit South America. Not only was that the bottom of the, of the mining market, but it also concerned with Argentina's government implementing a number of favorable tax and policy changes designed to attract mining investments. And remember that uh, over $35 million has been spent on the, on the Dabijas project uh, to date and that there were multiple bidders uh, um, uh, in, in the SSR sale process. Uh, Avril Plata was invited to bid, and we ultimately won because of our, not only because of our Argentine expert expertise, but the fact that many of the uh, executive management live in Argentina. Mr. Fuchter, I have a multi-layered question here for you. What is the next unanswered question for Avril Plata? When should we expect results, and what determines success? In terms of the next unanswered question is the persistence of the gold mineralization at depth. Uh, not only is that gold at a much higher grade than exists in the, the uh, open pit uh, uh, resource at this moment in time, uh, but there's geological potential for it to extend considerably uh, to considerable depths below the pit. So uh, we certainly want to be drilling that over the next two years. Um, in terms of our timeline, um, we uh, are going to be uh, finishing the pre-feasibility study by the end of this year. And our goals are, as I've mentioned before, is to deliver a fully permitted uh, uh, construction-ready uh, project by the end of 2019. Now, Willem, I know we just had some very successful results with the PEA, but I have to ask you this. What keeps you up at night that we don't know about? I think that what, uh, um, what is a bit uh, uh, discuss, disconcerting for me at this moment in time um, are the markets and the current spot prices. I think the general sentiment is that uh, we're going to see a considerable lift in the solar prices, but exactly when that's going to happen uh, is, is still difficult to tell at this uh, uh, moment of time. However, 
I think what, uh, uh, what rather than uh, keeps me up at night but gives me some comfort is the fact that the silver-gold ratios are uh, quite high at this moment in time, it's around about 80 to 1. And as, you, uh, as your listeners probably know, um, the, uh, 30, the, the long-term 30-year average of the, the silver-gold uh, ratio is around about uh, 60. And uh, our, our PEA uh, 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 price that we've used to in, 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 in the economic assessment are 1,300 gold and, uh, and, and 20 silver. And that's close to a 65 to 1 ratio. Mr. Fuchter, final question. What did I forget to ask? I think that, uh, um, and I hope that, uh, I think what you failed to uh, uh, ask, and I hope uh, that the listeners will find uh, of interest, is what is the expe- uh, expansion potential uh, on the property? Um, at this moment in time, we see uh, expansion potential from three, three uh, uh, localities. One, there's a 20 to 30 percent uh, uh, possibility to, uh, uh, to uh, expand the resources within the pit. Then there's the, the deep, uh, high-grade gold zone, uh, and which we've talked about just uh, in, in one of your questions, uh, answering one of your questions earlier. And finally, there are satellite deposits uh, on the periphery of the main occulted deposit, which are, can also uh, bring in additional re- uh, resources. Um, this means that the eight-year mine life is probably going to be extended by a number of years uh, subsequent to, uh, to the end of the current plan pit. Mr. Fuchter, for someone listening that wants to get more information regarding Abra Plata Resource Corp, please share the contact details. Yes, we're, we're found at www.agroblast.com and uh, um, your listeners are free to uh, get hold of Rob Bruggerman, our Corporate Development and Investor Relations uh, Officer. Um, he can be found at rob at agroblast.com or at 416-884-3 And last but not least, please visit our website, www.provenimprobable.com, where we interview the most respected names in the natural resource space. You may reach us at contact at provenimprobable.com. Willem Fuchter of Abra Plata Resource Corp., thank you for joining us today on Proven and Probable. And as a reminder, we'd like to share with our listeners that Abra Plata Resource is a sponsor of Proven and Probable, and they were proud shareholders of Abra Plata Resources for the virtues conveyed in today's message. Thank you for joining us today on Proven and Probable. Remember to like and subscribe for more conversations with the most respected names in the natural resource space. Check out our website at www.provenandprobable.com. The information presented on Proven and Probable is provided for educational and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information is not intended to be and does not constitute financial, investment, or trading advice, or any other advice. You should not make any financial, investment, or trading decision based on any of the information presented without first undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or competent financial advisor.